This is Mark Bell from SuperTraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. Welcome to another edition of The Power Project. We got Hermy Pinto with two questions tonight, but this is Hermy Pinto number seven. Not to be confused with Hermy Pinto one, two, three, four, five, or six. This is Hermy Pinto number seven. Hermy Pinto number seven, his first question is, why are the lats so important in a bench press? The lats are important for a couple of reasons. One of the major reasons, in my opinion, in my opinion, <laughs> I have to always say as a disclaimer, otherwise people say, oh, so-and-so said this, so-and-so said that. And I don't care what so-and-so said. I'm telling you my opinion, you asked for my advice, and I'm giving it to you. So here we go. The lats, one of the main things that they do is they help protect the shoulder. When you set those weights, into your lats, you're not doing the overshove with the shoulder. You're not putting the shoulder in a real compromising, funky, internally rotated position. You're going to wind that thing back, you're going to shorten your range of motion, and you're going to load those weights into your lats. Now, a great lifter once told me, Amy Weisberger, multiple world record holder, um, <clears throat> she once told me, if you don't ever uh, engage your lats in the beginning, how are you supposed to use them throughout the lift? And that's a great point. Your lats have to be engaged from the beginning of the lift. So how do we do that? How do we engage these lats, these so-called lats? First of all, you have to have a pair of lats. You have to obtain a pair. So you have to do about 6 to 12 sets at least once a week in order to start to build up some lats. Probably take you a while, maybe even a year. <laughs> Bent over rows, uh, lat pull downs seated rows, things like that. You gotta get to work on it and you gotta get to work on it now because we need a bigger bench, don't we? So, the lats are gonna do a lot too for your deadlift and for your squat. They're a foundation for everything. Your back holds the glue, holds everything together, helps hold your body together. So we need strong lats and we need to engage the lats. When you go to do a bench press, you wanna pull the weights out you don't never want to you never want to shove up and out to unrack the weight. That's a beginner move and this is the beginner stance. <laughs> but that's a beginner move. You don't want to shove the weights out. You're not trying to prove how strong you are when you unrack it. You're trying to prove how strong you are when you can lift it. So don't unrack it with your shoulder. Pull the weights out of the rack. Set them into your lats. Get your lats tight. Stay tight throughout the lift. And then from the bottom, what the lats are going to do is they're going to help you push the weight off your chest. Obviously, your chest is involved. Obviously, other muscles involved. But that front bodybuilder pose, wham, that we all hit every morning <clears throat> for a half an hour before we go to our job, um, that little pose right there is what you're trying to do from the bottom position of the bench press. Uh, Ryan Kennelly, 1,075 bench, he once told me in the bench press, gather, 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 boom, explode. When you explode, you push yourself into the bench and you try to drive with your lats. This guy's trying to run me over. <laughs> you try to drive with your lats. And you, uh, when you start to film people, they tend to run away. You're trying to drive with your lats. You're trying to press with your lats. You never want to press up. You don't want to pinch your shoulder blades together like this. You want to pin them down this way. So that's some of the things the lats can do for you. Hopefully, you can see the benefit of it. They're going to help stabilize the shoulder. They're going to help keep the bench more stable. They're going to help you explode from the bottom of the bench press. Now, Hermie Pinto number seven, you got another question. And this one's going to cost you five bucks. The next one after that is going to be seven fifty, And the next one after that, you'll be kicked out of the power project for life plus ten years. Um, <clears throat> this next question... Is about the slingshot, my invention from HowMuchYouBench.net. You said you realize the slingshot can help with injury prevention, but how can it help gain strength for a raw lifter? Because after all, if you're raw, you won't be able to actually use the slingshot when you do your raw lift. The slingshot's going to do something called the future method. It's going to allow you to handle heavier weights. Louis Simmons refers to this as the future method, allowing you to handle heavier weights, getting your body accustomed. To these heavier weights for the future without the slingshot. 
So hopefully you catch my drift there. It's going to help to um, <clears throat> get your body used to heavier weights. It's going to hit your central nervous system hard because they're going to be weights that you're not normally able to handle by yourself. Also what it's going to do, it's going to add a ton of volume to your training. You're going to go from being able to do uh, one set of one with 250 to being able to do three sets of three to five reps with 250. Multiply that up. Tell me what that equals. That's a lot of volume. This week for my own training, I did 505 for three sets of five before I ever got into my bench shirt, all with pauses, all done with really strict form. And that's just a great amount of volume uh, that you can handle, especially if you have an injury. Now, you said you realize, that you, have, you realize that it works for injury, but how does it help with strength? Well, allowing you to handle heavy weights and avoid injury is huge in powerlifting. If you can avoid injury, you can constantly make progress. Usually, if you feel healthy, you'll feel strong. If your joints feel okay, if your elbows feel okay, if your shoulders feel okay, then the rest of your body is usually in tune with pressing heavy weights. So the slingshot is not only going to help you to handle heavier weights uh, for one rep maxes and three rep maxes and so on, it's going to help you add a ton of volume to your training and it's going to help reduce injuries. And that is it from supertraining.tv. Later.